Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell. So we're just going to start from here. So we just have a little cucumber down here. Just down there. I covered them last night. Well, I've, I've covered them. I covered them from Sunday because it has been windy since Sunday. Today is not too bad. That's my peas, not looking too bad. There's some corns there. Some more corns, some more corns here. Um, a little baby one coming up somewhere down here. This one is quite a few coming up as well. And then there's one coming up somewhere here as well. That one there. Some corns over there. There's one behind there. Some peas. My tomatoes are not doing as well as I thought they would. But it's okay because I've got plenty more. So... I'll just transplant the ones that are looking a bit more healthier. So there we have our strawberries. As you can see, we have strawberries on them. So that's not bad. I think the last time I showed them to you, they were looking something like this over here. Yeah, I think these ones up here were looking like that. <coughs> yeah, so... This one hasn't got anything on it just yet. And the bottom one down here as well. Okay, so I'll take you. So I'll take you to this bit over here. So over here, I've got some. These are cabbages. So I've got cabbages over here. Yeah, so over here I've got some cabbages, and then what I've done um, at the weekend, I transplanted some of my transplant. So some of my seedlings, sorry. So they were in a smaller container, and then I transplant them into a. A slightly bigger container as you can see there slightly bigger container and yeah tomatoes and um, peppers sweet peppers and then here we have the lettuces and up here as well we have lettuce and stuff like that and that's my mommy's beautiful I don't know what the name of this is but there are two kinds the red one and the pink one well the rather pale pink and the brighter pink, I should say. Here we've got my broccoli. Yeah. And um, behind the broccoli we have got peas. So here we have got also, we've got some, so this one that you're looking at, this one here, is garlic. And we have another garlic down there as well. I think we have a lot one inside there as well. There, they have quite a lot. And this is kale, garlic coming up, another garlic over there. These are broccoli. And then behind here, we've got my peas. And have a look at that one. That's a peas, guys. That's a peas. So that's not too bad. That's quite good. So that is actually nice to see to be honest and then this is the um, bean I took from Canada so I went to Canada last year and I got this bean from my sister it was beautiful a few weeks back and now it's the wind um, tossed it and this is what it's looking like at the moment yeah so that's not quite good I'm not too pleased with that and down here we have got another tomato and those are three pumpkins and some broccoli and then underneath here i think i've got my um these are potatoes and then over here we've got kale quite a lot of kale over here thank god for that i love kale that's another green peas there's another one there but those ones hasn't got any they haven't got any peas on them yet and that is I decided to just put a big onion into the garden so I did that and look at it beautiful and then inside here we got the um, seedlings to be transplanted so um, at the weekend as I said I 
transfer them from one um, container to the, to another so basically they were like this so like you see these ones over here like they're all in one container yeah so what I did I took out them the, the ones that look looks healthiest I took those ones out and yeah took them out and he's oh my god my cat is playing with the bee look at him playing with the bee So yeah, so um, so I took them out. Sorry, so I took them out from the small container because they were all in one and they were struggling to grow. So I took them out and look at them, and they were all looking like this. And today is what Tuesday, and then I did that also over. The, and then I did this uh, midweek. I took these ones out from a smaller container like this. So they were in like one container, all of them. So I took them out, and then it's like this now. So that's good. And then this is my black currant. So I'll take you up to see the black currant. So look at those. Beautiful. And these are the raspberries. And the funny thing is that I thought, because of the wind, they were going to fall off because it has been rather windy. It's terrible. So yeah, so there's so many of them, so many. Down here we've got some cabbages. Should be another one down here. Should be another one there. Kale there. So then around here now, we've got some kale, as you can see, some kale there. And then that inside there is my blue bean. Quite a few blue beans coming in here. Let me just zoom out. So those are my blue beans. As you can see, beautiful. I've got my carrots. If you watch my previous video, you will see how these were like little, little tiny babies. And look at them now. And remember, I think in my previous video, I said that I normally plant them in the ground, but they do not germinate. So I decided now to um, plant them in a container. These are some more broad beans. And the wind has been battering them as you can see yeah so I need to put another mesh a mesh around these ones and then we have our turnips over here these are turnips I also planted these in the ground and they didn't do that well so I decided to put them in a container so there they go and then for my this one is my beetroot which are not doing too well apart from that one there <coughs> so and these ones not too bad <coughs> and these ones over here not too bad too but the rest they're just looking terrible and then we have here radish so those are my radishes and yeah and then some more these ones I planted as I said in February but the wind oh my god look at them the wind i don't know what to do i normally cover these ones but they've grown ever so tall so i can't cover them anymore so um i don't know i just leave it as it is and then we have another cabbage and then there's a there that little thing that you're looking at it is it is a cucumber and i covered it last night well from i think sunday and when I removed the covering, there was a little slug inside, and he was eating that, so <coughs> I'm not too pleased. Yeah, and 
that's my parsley and these inside this little container here these are kale kale and i'm so happy because i love kale and the broad bean coming up there should be some inside here as well there should be three in here and three in that one and these are oh they're looking so terrible these are my spring onion and um, garlic they're not looking too well and my lovely mint which i planted last year this is my mint basil and if i take you over here in this container here i've got a lovely lovely cucumber coming up and some sweet peppers so pleased with the cucumber and then in this little this here this little towel mesh towel that i've created is for my lovely lovely cucumbers so i've got two in this pot here and they're going to be climbing up on this and coming over flowing like a, a fountain <laughs> I think I'm not too sure hopefully that's what happened so the big one I planted during the winter I think I think I planted it in February during the winter and for indoors and I planted about 12 8 germinated and this is the only one that survived so and then these ones um, these the smaller ones that I've been showing you I planted them about a month ago and then I only just transplant them the other day I think at the weekend because they were struggling in the container because I had them in a um, egg tray um, yes so the paper one not the plastic egg tray so I had them in that and I had to transfer transfer, transfer them into or transplant them into something else so I decided that but when it was windy at, um, at the weekend and yesterday I took this one inside because I have been treasuring that big one over there so I cannot afford for anything to happen to it so I put it inside and it was behind uh, well it was on the um, windowsill so that was fine and then over here we've got some more peppers and look at this one so beautiful and uh, as you can see another cucumber yay so happy yeah So I think that is it for today. This is my beautiful garden. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you. I think in the previous video I showed you the grapes. So there, here they are. Look at this. Three weeks ago you could see all the vines without these green greenery and now if I zoom in you can actually see grapes on there and look at that grapes are literally everywhere look at that it is amazing like this is the first year we are going to be having so many grapes like every single vine and i mean every single vine you know has got grapes on there every single vine if i look up here every single vine it is ridiculous so because my mom told me to prune it probably about two months ago she said she went online to find out when to prune because we always thought it was like November. We were supposed to prune it in November, and um, so I I started pruning it in November, but then I said, "Yeah, I can't be bothered." And then I was speaking to my mom, and my mom said, "Oh no, I went I went online and I found out that you prune." I can't remember which month, but I think it was like two months ago. So I literally came out and she said, "Prune it." So I literally came out and I pruned. All of it that I thought it was gonna die. I remember cutting a bit of it and it started bleeding and I tied it up so that it, it, it the, the, the water doesn't come out so it's not running out so I tied it up and it bled for about a week and I was so worried 
but yeah. Because my mom said if you cut like the big part of it, like the big vines, it will bleed. But I didn't cut a big one, it was a tiny one. But it was just bleeding. It bled for a week. Literally, you know, dripping water. Look at that. Look at these. Oh my goodness. So happy. Yeah, so. If I zoom out, you can see. So it's a very, very tiny garden. Tiny garden. Very, very tiny. It's nothing. Yeah, nothing fancy, but we make do. So that's what it looks like, and yeah, this is what it looks like. If you do like this video please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and turn on your notification bell have a lovely day thank you bye